So if you guys haven't been paying attention to this series, let's give a quick recap. In game one of the NBA Finals, Derrick Rose put the Bulls on his back. He was like an MVP, getting the contact and the foul to go. Derrick Rose took game number one for the Chicago Bulls, and in game number two, the Bulls were too strong, taking the Lakers out by 20 points. In game three, the Lakers fought back, and now it's a 2-1 series heading into game four in Chicago. The series is not looking good for the Lakers if they lose this game. And if they manage to win, I mean, it's looking all right. Jimmy Butler gets the mid-range shot right here, and this starts us off. The Bulls have a lead, three minutes and 30 seconds left in this game. But before I get started with the commentary, I want to say one. New audio settings. Do you think it's better or worse than before? Comment down below because I don't know. I can't tell. I don't know if it's worse or the same or better. And it does sound different on YouTube. I know that. So let me know what you guys think of the audio settings. Number two. This could be the last episode of the MyGM series. So I'm going to be talking about some stuff after the, uh, after the series as well. And number three. Let's just get into this game and come out with a victory. So right now, 2 minutes 50 seconds left in this game. Pau Gasol is facing up against his old team in the NBA Finals. I mean, when did you think that was going to happen? But it's happening right now, and Pau Gasol is putting in that work, man. This guy is basing and feasting right now. And the sad thing is DeMarcus Cousins is fouled out. Are you serious right now? You're telling me in a Mike Gem series, you're going to let DeMarcus Cousins foul out. Are you serious right now? So Randall is up against Pau Gasol, and this man's like twice, he, he's double his height, man. Pau Gasol is so damn huge compared to Julius Randall. Not really, but I just, it, it feels good saying that, okay? It feels good saying that. 112 to 115, 1 minute 26 seconds left in this game. The Lakers cannot lose this game. We need to tie it up and get a victory right here. So with Russell getting the steal and getting the fast break dunk to go, one point game, now it's a one point game and the Lakers have the lead with 22 seconds left in this game. Russell gets a nice green by Hassan Whiteside, Hassan Whiteside rolling to the basket, go inside and he gets the missed layup. Because the Bulls have some really good defense down low with Joe Kim Noah and Pau Gasol. Butler's there as well, Butler gives it to Rose. And don't tell me Rose is going to pull a crazy game one finish on us, he misses the layup, are you serious? He misses the layup and D-Rose know he messed up. You messed up, D-Rose. He knows it right there. And so with Jabari Parker at the line, 1.9 seconds left. He makes the first free throw. He needs to hit this to make it a three-point game. Jabari Parker. Buckets. Surely the Bulls are not going to come back. I mean, we all know Derrick Rose wants revenge for missing that wide open layup, but not from that far out, right? I mean, that's way too far out. you got to be kidding me right now. Are you freaking serious, bro? That's how you know this damn thing is on Hall of Fame. What in the world? You're telling me he was almost at the at the at the Bulls half court line, and this man just hit that shot to send it to OT. Ah, oh, this man is like an MVP. And yeah, that right there, that just shows you Demarcus Cousins fell out. We don't have Demarcus Cousins in this overtime. So we just have to make sure we can play some good defense. And PJ Tucker starts us off getting the mid-range shot to go. 118 to 122. Look at that pass right there. And look at me. What? Hassan Whiteside just goddamn tipped that ball in when I went to go for the damn rebound. you got to be kidding me. Don't you dare celebrate, Joe Kim Noah. You did nothing on that possession. I did that for you, bro. Anyway, Hassan Whiteside makes up for it getting that dunk on PJ Tucker right there. And with D'Angelo Russell feeding Kobe Bryant right there, getting to the left. That was actually Jabari Parker who fed Kobe Bryant. But anyway, two-point game, two and a half minutes left. This is when the Bulls decided to turn it up. Yeah, bro, they turned it up and they took overtime. They took friggin' overtime. Look at that score. What happened? I don't know. We couldn't hit a shot. They could hit all their shots. And so we are down 3-1 going into game number five. And the Lakers have a chance of being eliminated right now. And the Bulls have a chance of winning the NBA Finals. D. Rose is playing like his former self. This man's a beast in this game. I'm not even going to lie. He went 10 for 19. Kobe Bryant had an old school game. 50% from the field. 31 points. This man went to work and we still lost this game. Ah, this, this series right here, man. It's crazy. So anyway, let's hop into game five.
And so here it is, game number five. If we win this game, we make it so tough for the Bulls, even though we go back to uh, Chicago in the next in the next game. But if we lose this game, uh, the Bulls win the NBA championship. So I guess you could say it's a pretty big game right now. I mean, just a little bit, as DeMarcus Cutters just absolutely bulldozes through Joe Kim Noah, getting that layup to go right there. But tight game. Start of the game, 14 minutes and 10 seconds left in the first quarter. Uh, we play some good defense, and look at this. I mean, Hassan Whiteside was just angry right here. I mean, this is all anger. This is a chance for Hassan Whiteside to say, you know what, I deserve to be here in the NBA Finals. Let's take this win tonight. This man, this boy was angry. He blocked that shot all the way down there, and Kobe got a bit angry getting that block. Whew! Not in my house. I mean, that is his house. I mean, if you had to say the uh, Los Angeles Lakers Arena, Staples Center was anyone's house, I mean, it has to be Kobe Bryant's house as DeMarcus Cousins gets that slam dunk to go. But soon enough, the uh, the Bulls, well, they were just too good. I mean, in this first quarter, they killed us. At, at this point in time, uh, D. Rose decides to put on the moves and give it out to uh, this boy right here, the young blood, Tony Snell. And they took a 10-point lead going to the second quarter. But you know me, we're not going to go into the second quarter. We go straight into the last quarter. And it's still that 10-point lead to the Bulls. No score has changed. So it's a 10-point lead. And this is our chance to come back and take this win. And take this victory and do some work. Now, I do have a, uh, a new kind of plan I have in place. So I want you guys, after this game, to stay tuned because um, I have a lot of things to go over after this game that I want you guys to see because uh, Yeah, well not really to say I, just want, I want you guys to hear what I'm gonna say after this game has ended So stay tuned don't go anywhere because I've got a lot to talk about anyway as you can see the Bulls decided to uh, turn the heat up and uh, Yeah, these guys honestly they were just too much and look at T Rose flopping right there. What are you doing son? I nailed that three right there with D'Angelo Russell. I think that was a mid-range actually with D'Angelo Russell. But anyway, the Bulls, I guess you could say they were just too good. I mean, how do you defend that? How do you, I had the hand in your face with DeMarcus Cousins. And then Hassan Whiteside decides to get fouled out right here. And it's a 20-point lead with two and a half minutes left in this game. The only person that was putting in that work was this man right here, D'Angelo Russell. But apart from that, nobody really put in that work. And we uh, we lose. We lose, man. We freaking lose. We lose this game, and the Bulls win the 2017 NBA championship. Derrick Rose, Jimmy Butler. I mean, that's what's going to happen if Derrick Rose decides to play like his former self, his former MVP self. These guys are going to go to work as Agent Zero's Skyping me right there. I've got to turn off my phone, but it's ruining the moment right here. But yeah, I mean, the Bulls are. Uh, they were just too good, honestly. They were too good. Like, I, I admit, I played well against the Warriors, Clippers, Thunder. I beat all these guys. And I, and some guys in the comment section were saying, I didn't actually beat them. I put the difficulty down. What are you talking about, man? I definitely beat them. But this, we lose, man. We actually lose. And I didn't want to lose. I wanted to get Kobe Bryant his sixth ring. So that proves that, you know, honestly, the Bulls were just too good. The Bulls were honestly just too good for us. As you can see, Russell put in that work, but apart from that, I don't know, man. Just couldn't get our shots to fall, and it wasn't a great ending to the series. Kobe Bryant, unfortunately, that was his last game in the NBA, and this man, D. Rose, putting on an MVP performance. In fact, he wins the finals MVP, and with Kobe Bryant announcing his retirement, this man finished on a 38-year-old Kobe Bryant. So uh, here is about the point in time where I've got to make some announcements. So first of all, I, I made a new, uh, a new schedule on how the videos are going to be running. So on Mondays, well this is Australian days, so because in America, I've got to explain this, alright. In Australia, it's Monday. In America, it's Sunday. So I'm going to do it Australian time, but you, you get the gist. Monday, I'm going to be doing a rebuild a team. And this could be a Legends team as well. Pretty much, we do a MyGM mini-series where it's just one episode and we rebuild a team in one episode and the video might be a little bit longer. 
That's what we're going to do on Monday. On Tuesday, we're going to be doing a My GM series. On Wednesday, My Career. On Thursday, My GM. Friday, My Team. Saturday, My Career. Sunday, My Team. So there's going to be two My Team, two My Career, two My GM. Now, I also want to say this. There is a, uh, I created a MyGM voting poll in the description down below for you guys to vote. And uh, I want you guys to vote on the team that you want me to do for my next MyGM series. Now, I also ordered a new camera. So face cams are going to be a lot better, but it's going to be coming after Christmas, I think. So yeah, the face cam camera will be coming after Christmas. And that means I'll be doing more wages and mini games on my team. So if you guys want to uh, comment down below a, uh, a YouTuber that you'd like me to wager or do a mini game with, uh, I'll try and make that happen and then you know if you, once I'll make a separate video for this But you guys can also ask them over Twitter or YouTube or something like that. What do you guys think about the audio settings? Um, I did change the audio around so I don't know if it's worse or better comment down below Let me know what you think about the new audio um, And also I wanted to say do you want me to do a setup tour of my new setup because I did change some things around in my setup and also do you want me to make a series on how to be a youtuber or on how to start being a youtuber so yeah that's that i'm out i hope you guys enjoy don't forget to vote in the description box down below click the link and vote for the next my gm series in my opinion these are five teams i would honestly love to do and i would not be bored if i had to do these teams number one miami heat they're my favorite team how could you be bored doing your favorite team number two the indiana pacers rebuild around paul george number three miami and paces and maybe the 76ers that'd be kind of cool because uh they got no hope as of now but anyway it's been your boy smith comment down below and uh vote for sure i'm out peace